Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins here on our YouTube channel for VectorVast. Always love bringing these videos out to you. Today, I've got a how-to video, how to find the best dividend playing stocks. So with that, I've got five stocks for you, WST, LOW, TROW, SYK and CSL. I've also got two other stocks that somebody out there on the internet was taunt or was talking about saying these are great dividend plays. They were giving you the what, but not the why. In this video, I'm going to give you the what and the why on the stocks that I think you should like for dividend plays. If you want to know more information, you sit right there. <laughs> Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. First of all, if you're brand new to the channel, thank you for being here. Hit this uh, subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you will be alerted to when new videos like this come out. And if you like the content, by all means, please hit the like button. Also, when I put these stocks out and you look at these stocks, tell me what you think about these stocks or if there's stocks that you're investing in for dividends, let me know what they are. I may just do a follow-up video. All right, with this, there's only um, a couple of things that I want to do. First off, I just want to get into the software. No news today. I want to concentrate on what you need to look for in regards to good dividend paying stocks. And remember, I'm not just giving you the what or the stock. I'm giving you the why. Whether you're using the VectorVest software or whatever platform you're using, I'm going to pinpoint some things that you need to pay attention to. So remember, the five stocks that I'm giving you today are WST, Lowe's, uh, TRW, uh, SYK and CSL. These are the other two stocks that I saw on the internet going out to people saying, you got to buy these stocks because the dividend yields are great. Go buy these stocks. But as I get into the why on these, you may not like them. So a couple of things that I want you to look at when you're looking to find good dividend paying stocks. And again, if you have another service that you're looking at, or you use, let's see if you can get these indicators to help you as well. First thing, WST, uh, trading at $457 with a value of 246. Clearly the stock is overvalued, but that doesn't make it a bad stock. It just means that people are willing to pay a premium to own the stock. I've got an indicator, relative value, looks at the stock's long-term upside potential as compared to a AAA corporate bond. This instinctively tells me if this stock should outperform the market over the next one to three years. This indicator is cast on a scale between zero and two. Above one is favorable. This stock should outperform that AAA corporate bond by 48% over the next one to three years. Relative safety, that is an indicator of risk. Now keep in mind that our proprietary indicators are cast on a, rail, on a scale between zero and two, where above one is uh, favorable. With a relative safety at 1.5, this is a safe stock. This company normally tends to meet or exceeds its earnings expectation quarter over quarter, year over year. Earnings is the engine that drives the stock's price higher. Stocks in an uptrend. Look at this, positive earnings per share, and they grow their earnings at a clip of 30% a year. So the indicators that I want you to pay attention to, whether it's in Vector Vessel, whatever platform you're using, does the stock have good upside potential? We have relative value for that. Is it a safe stock? Relative safety is for that. Earnings per share, you can get that anywhere. Does it have positive earnings? Yes. Now, what about earnings growth? Are they growing their earnings? I don't know if you've got that on your platform, but if you do, then that is something to look for. Now, let's talk about from a dividend perspective, what to look for as well. People will tell you to go buy high dividend yielding stocks and you go run and go get the stock. A lot of times though, the dividend yield is high because the stock's price is doing what? coming down. Don't get caught in the dividend yield trap. So when I'm looking at dividend yield, and let's move this over, when I'm looking at dividend yield, which is right here, not all of these are high, but the two that were talked about on the internet have high dividend yields. We're going to get back to that in a second. So when I look at dividend yield, I want to make sure that the earnings yield for the stock can outpace the dividend yield. That tells me that the company makes enough money to pay for the dividend. Number two, we have an indicator called DS or dividend safety. It is cast on a scale between zero and 99. Above 50 tells me that 
from a dividend perspective, this stock should either maintain or grow their earnings. The higher above 50 it is, the stronger the possibility that the company will grow their dividends. So we have an indicator not only for dividend yield, dividend safety, we've got dividend growth as well. How susceptible will they be to growing their dividends? And we wrap it up into one indicator called YSG for yield, safety, and growth. Nobody else out there has that, but that's okay. I'm still giving you some stocks to take advantage of with the vector vest power and flexibility to point you in the right direction. So as I look at these indicators, I say, okay, these stocks are great stocks. Well, let's talk about how I found them very easily in the vector vest software. Oops. Let's go back to the stock viewer. There we go. I found them in a watch list that we have called DRIP, Dividend Reinvestment Program. I found stocks that have been growing their dividends for 25 plus years. How cool is that? And we have it in a watch list already for you. I took some stocks out of that, and that's how I came up with the stocks that I have for today. Let's go back up to my stocks for here, best dividend stocks. All right, so we looked at the five that I got from the dividend reinvestment um, program watch list. Let's talk about the other two that I saw on the internet saying, these are good dividend high yielding stocks. You need to go buy them. Those two stocks were KRP and HSM. Now, let me. they just gave you the why, right? They just gave you the why. Let's go highlight them again. They just gave you the why. Uh, sorry, they just gave you the what, but not the why. Let's talk about what the why looks like. So currently, both of these stocks are overvalued. Remember, that's not a bad thing. They both do have good upside potential. Ah, but look at the relative safety. These stocks, from a dividend perspective, are a little bit more risky, which means that they're going to show a little bit more volatility in the graph. When I'm in a dividend paying stock, I'd like to be in a nice, safe, upward moving graph that is a safe stock that pays a dividend, has the ability to grow that dividend, has a safe dividend. Well, let's keep on looking. Uh, HSM and KRP, do they have a safe dividend? Let's go look at dividend safety on these stocks. Whew. On that scale between zero and 99, both of these are below 50. So yes, they're talking about high dividend yields. Look at that, 6.85 and 7.25. But how safe is that dividend? All right, not only that, as I look at the dividend that's being paid, look at the dividend growth rate on KRP, negative eight. So yes, right now it's got a dividend yield of 6.85, but its growth is negative. When we look at HS, uh, HESM, it's got a dividend safety of 28, better than KRP, but man, just below 50. I have to be aware that this stock may or may not continue to pay its dividend. Let's go look at dividend yield compared to earnings yield. Looks like HESM should be okay to hold their dividends, but when I look at the dividend yield of 6.86 and an earnings yield of 1.57 on KRP, whew, the company doesn't make enough to actually hold on to that dividend yield. So that is the why behind these things. It's not just to get caught up in that dividend yield trap because many of us do that. I'm trying to take you down the path that does not get you caught up in that trap. All right, so let's go look at these on a longer term basis. Remember, these are companies that have grown their dividends over the last 25 years. So I'm gonna look at the graph a little differently. I'm gonna click on graph all, and I'm gonna put on all of the data that I can when looking at vector vests on the graph. And you'll notice that I have on the graph uh, the uh, dividend growth and the dividend safety, let's make sure that, yeah, I should have been that way anyway. Uh, actually, I'm gonna move this back over so that I'm out of the way. So look at the company over the last, what is this, 26 plus years. Bottom left, top right, most recently running, look at the earnings per share, look at the earnings growth rate. Both of them rising, and look at that dividend. When I'm in a long-term dividend stock, this is what I wanna see. It growing its dividend year over year over year. And as the stock's price goes up, what's going to happen to dividend yield? It's going to grow. Why? Because you're making it in 
price movement. All right, let's go to the next stock. We look at WST. Here's T Row, bottom left, top right. Look at that run up. Look at earnings. Look at earnings growth rate. Look at over the last 26 years growing that uh, dividend. Dividend yield is falling. Even with the dividend yield falling, it's still at uh, about 2%. But look at that. Earnings, earnings growth rate. Remember, it's the engine that drives the stock's price higher. Let's go to the next one. I found this one in the dividend as well. Uh, look at bottom left, top right, a little bit of a pullback here. I do have a 20-day exponential moving average, but look at the rising dividend, folks. That's the power of finding these kinds of stocks. This is the how-to. I want to find stocks that consistently grow their dividends. Let's go to the next stock, Lowe's. Man, a big pullback here, but overall, look at the earnings per share, the earnings growth, the rise in dividend. Now, let's get into one of the stocks that I saw out there. It's a relatively new stock. Look at the dividend. Dividend not much growing right now. That's all right. Uh, and again, it's something to not get caught up in the dividend yield trap. I don't want you to do that. And this is a good way around that. Let's go to the next stock. Uh, this is the other stock that I saw on the internet. A lot more volatility. Both of these are relatively new stocks, as you can see. I do like this one, though, from a dividend perspective in a short amount of time growing it. But watch the earnings and the earnings growth. It's not there yet. I want safe stocks that have good earnings, that are growing their earnings, that have a higher earnings yield than dividend yield. Those are the things that make for a good dividend stock. Folks, hopefully you like this how-to video in regards to finding the best dividend plays. Now, how about this? If you don't have the VectorVest software, we're going to offer it to you for 99 cents for 30 days. You will have access to what I just showed you to hone up and build up your dividend portfolio. I know a lot of people after they've uh, retired, they live off of dividends. This is the way to find those stocks that after you retire, you can retire on these dividends and those things that you're looking for. So, folks, if you found this useful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Until the next time, folks, this video is over. See ya.